Hey guys, and welcome to day 12 of the food styling challenge. I'm so excited that you're here. I hope that you've gotten to catch some of the other days in the challenge. Uh, this morning, we're going to be talking all about avocados. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about regarding avocados is that uh, the good news is, if you're a guacamole addict or an avocado addict, uh, you don't have to worry about your avocados being ripe. So that is kind of the quintessential problem when you go avocado shopping the day of when you're looking to make guacamole and you can't seem to find those perfect avocados. But the great news is for food styling, you don't actually want a super ripe avocado. Um, so what tastes really good isn't necessarily going to work really well for food styling. So what you're looking for is you're looking for avocados that are quite firm. Um, if you pick this off, you can see that this uh, this looks just fine. They can be, come in here and look at these. They can be pretty green. And as you squeeze them, they're hard. They're not soft at all. They don't give um, under pressure. So you can see here that we have quite a few different sizes. Avocados have lots of different shapes. They have lots of different sizes. These big ones, this is a beautiful example of a nice avocado, but this is a pretty big avocado. You can see it covers basically my whole hand. So as you're thinking about what you're styling, keep in mind the size of what it is that you want that avocado to look like. And if you're sending anyone else to shop for you, as you start to scale in your business, definitely keep in mind that you wanna to express to them what size it is that you need um, for the project because if they come back with this size and you needed a really big one or vice versa, you're gonna end up having another grocery store run. So that's kind of um, some basics there on that. You can see that this one is not shaped well. Um, this is not gonna fan very nicely. It's got a lot of uh, kind of wonky sides to it here. And it's just gonna be very difficult to work with. So you're looking for something that is, um, is very smooth, very uniform all the way throughout it so that you can really get um, nice looking slices and nice fans. Now, if you are using this for guacamole, of course, none of that matters, but um, we're assuming that you're either, you know, dicing or fanning or doing some more like visual stuff with your avocados. Um, there are a couple different ways to keep avocados looking nice. So, one of the things about avocados is that as you're working with them, they're going to immediately start, start browning. And we don't want that. That doesn't look good in the pictures. It doesn't look appetizing at all. So we want to stop that browning process. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to not cut them until you're on set, everything is ready, and you're ready to just fire the camera, then slice your avocados and get those on there. Um, most of the time what I use for that is I just use plain lemon juice. So we buy it from Kroger in big containers and you just drizzle this over the top of it when you slice it. And I'm going to show you how to do that exactly here, but that's my most common way of doing it is speed and lemon juice. Now I'll tell you the big reason for that is because I want to eat them. Even if they're, um, they're slightly green, they're still delicious. So. The lemon accents it and it makes it to where you can eat it afterwards. Now, if you're on a set and you're maybe working on a video or you're working on something where you're gonna be playing with this food a lot longer, you're gonna need something a little bit more hardcore than lemon juice. Um, so in that situation, what I like to use second is Fruit Fresh. This is a ball product. You find it in the canning aisle um, basically what this is, is it's, um, it stops browning and keeps them looking nice. We use this on like, if you're cutting up apples or you're putting them in your kid's lunch or things like that, you can use fruit fresh. And basically all you're going to do is you're going to mix a couple teaspoons in with a half a cup of water and just make a solution for that. And you can either, uh, set them in there and soak them for a few minutes, or you can just sprinkle it over. It just kind of depends on how long you need it to stay. And then the last option is if you have to prep really far in advance for something, um, you can use vodka. Now, as much as you think that vodka tastes good, if you pair this with the avocado, 
they don't taste good at all. So if you want to eat these afterwards, don't do this combination. Um, at least in my opinion. But you can pre-slice these and leave them soaking in vodka like this. And they will hold very, very well. But they're not tasty afterwards. So that's kind of why we default to just lemon juice. Um, and waiting until we get to the very, uh, the very last moment to place them. So the next thing we're going to do here is kind of show you a bit of a walkthrough on how we cut these, slice, and fan them. Now, again, each avocado is a little bit different. Each one's going to work a little bit different. So sometimes one will work really well. Sometimes one won't. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and start doing this process. So you want to start with this. You could wear a cutting glove if you're worried about cutting your hand. Um, I cut a lot of avocados, so I'm not too concerned. But... I'm sure for my insurance purposes, I should tell you, always wear a cut glove if you're going to do this. Um, so just score it all the way around, just like you would if you're making guacamole. And then you're just going to twist, and off you go, just like that. That looks really good. This one is very firm, so when they're super, super firm, um, they can be a little bit harder to get out. So you're looking for very uniform slices as you come through here. kind of like that. Again, making sure that you're not cutting your hand. If you have assistance or people who are not used to doing this, I would recommend that you just keep this for yourself as a task. And let's do one more here. And I can kind of tell that I'm starting to graze through that skin on the back, but that's okay. And then you have a couple of different options. You can use, you'll kind of find your own spoon. We talked about this on like the whipped cream dollops where everybody has their own kind of favorite spoon. Um, for me, I don't like using these teaspoons, but I have seen people do that. I like a bigger spoon. Um, this is one of my favorites. So it's got a nice sharp edge on there. Some spoons are very dull and they won't cut at all. So you're looking for something that does have a bit of an edge. You can tell this one, I mean, you can't really tell on camera, but this one's not super sharp. It's kind of just a dull on the edge there. And that doesn't really work. So find something that has sharp on the edge. And then you're just going to come in and work your way through the bottom here. Again, kind of folding it in as you go around. Now what I like to do is turn it halfway because if you try to scoop all the way through, what will happen is you'll start mashing the edges here. So you can even take a, a napkin and just kind of wipe this off as you're going. That way you don't smush that stuff all over the place. And then press that back in and come in from the other side. Okay, so that one wasn't perfect, but it's pretty good. This one's very, very firm. So as you come through there, you're just going to start to fan them out a little bit. And you can see this one got damaged a little bit on the bottom. We didn't scrape it cohesively through. So when you're doing this, make sure you pick up some extras in case you run into some buggers there. And just kind of fan it out with your hand, similar to what we do with the bananas on the smoothie bowls, things like that. And that's kind of the basics there. Um, if I were going to be prepping this to go on something, I'd probably drop that. Honestly, with this one, this one needs to be redone here. This has a problem there. So I would start on another avocado there. But that's the basic fanning idea. And then you're just going to come in with your lemon juice. Just on a plate. And don't do this on your actual like plate that you're working with. But if you've got to prep this ahead of time, just kind of drizzle it like that. Let it sit for a minute and then put that on your set so that it's going to hold and look really nice. Okay, guys, so that's the basics there. Um, again, if you're working with the next one here, just like you would normally, hit it in the center, twist that out, and that's going to come out really nicely. And then you can slice through that again. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to jump back over here. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you have other things that you'd like to see, 
Uh, feel free to leave me comments on this post. Let me know what it is that you're struggling with on styling and we'll come in and jump in and do a tutorial for you. Uh, make sure you sign up on the Messenger bot to get alerts. We send out alerts whenever these videos are getting ready to go live. Um, and again, they are time sensitive trainings. So these will eventually expire and go into our paid training uh, area. So make sure you watch them and keep an eye out on that messenger bot for when new trainings go live because um, they are not going to be around forever. Uh, have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.